Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Six of Swords in reverse. You could have tried to move on from this person, okay? You could have tried to distance yourself mentally or physically from this person, but you're just having a hard time doing that, okay? Probably it's all literally like I'm getting like the more you try to move on, right? And you know that there is something that you need to do. You probably need to go away from this connection or move forward. There is some changes that you need to make, but you're just not being able to move past your comfort zone, okay? And that's why you're probably constantly going in circles, okay? You try to move on, you can't, so you get back to this person. And again, there is a repetitive cycle, okay? See, for the page of wanter, you probably even want communication from this person, okay? You want to try a new way of communicating with this person, but you're just stuck on this person. You're not being able to move on. Again, the sides can be flipped, okay? So feel free to switch the sides, vice versa. Tell me more about Scorpio's feelings. See, page of pentacles, I told you, you want to do something stable, okay? You want something stable from this person. Either you want to approach this person with some stability or the <coughs> you want this person to offer you something very stable, something committed, okay? But you want this person to put in that effort when it comes to you. But yeah, there is something that you definitely want to, you, you want to invest into this person for sure, okay? Probably with the five of pentacles in reverse, yeah, you've lived, you've been left out in the cold by this person, all right? And uh, you want to return to this person, okay? You can be a little codependent on them. But yeah, you're feeling very lonely and left out, very isolated by this person. Now you want to put in the work um, towards this person. See, five of wands in reverse here. There could have been a lot of issues, okay? You guys were just not on the same page. You guys were not sharing the same goals, same motives, all right? When it came to your relationship, too many ego clashes, probably too many people even in between in front of you. But right now, I'm getting more like inner conflict, okay? Once, one second, you want to go towards this person. The other minute, probably there's someone who influences you or, or, or there's just something that makes you constantly conflict in your head, okay? But that's a lot of inner conflict here. But yes, you do want to resolve your issues with this person and you do, do want to be in the same page. Okay? You want a peaceful resolution with this person, which is exactly what the page of pentacles means. It is offering, you know, um, a peaceful resolution, like a timeout, you know, like uh, because you're just not being able to move forward. Okay. And um, this is you probably, you know, you're trying to go against the current. There is something that you know you need to do, but you're pushing yourself away from it. It's like literally you wanting to break the cycle. You you know there is this um, forced departure that you have. Okay, it's like you're forced to do something. Okay, forced to move forward, but you just cannot do it. Okay. But yeah, you do want to be on the same page. You want to stop the drama, all right? And you want to start something new with this person, but something that makes sense, something that offers security, something that's more um, tangible. Okay. But yeah, you you are wanting to invest into this person. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse here, either you're dealing with someone who's non-committal, uh, who's gone from commitment to commitment phobic, okay, or someone who's just not ready to open up emotionally, okay. Maybe you feel that the person you're dealing with is someone like this, someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable. And that's why probably, you know, this person, you're roaming around in circles with this person because probably this person comes in, the Knight of Cups is like your knight in shining armor, right? This person comes in, you know, they're like the best actor to talk to, very charming, very cool, very good looking, very uh, pretty or very handsome, whatever, take it how it resonates. But someone, you know, who probably plays around with your emotions, you know, or someone, you know, when it comes to really doing in the work, putting in the work, or when it comes to really opening up emotionally, they're scared, they don't want to be vulnerable and they shut down, okay? So that's what you feel about this person. But yeah, in your mind, with the page of pentacles in your heart, in your emotions, you definitely want to reconcile with them because you're just not being able to move forward. Tell me what is going on on this person's mind that Scorpio is dealing with. What is going on on this person's mind that Scorpio is dealing with? See the world here. So you could have ended a cycle with this person, okay? This is ending a chapter. The world is also moving into new beginnings, right? Which is ending and new endings and new beginnings. So there could have been some lessons learned out here. You learned your lesson, they learned their lesson. But this is a completion 
a successful completion of a goal okay you've reached a milestone with your relationship and now if you want to you can be ready to get to the next level okay in this relationship here could be living at a distance from this person could be a long distance relationship but with the world here this is where you've shut a chapter within this connection and now you're ready to open a new chapter with them okay with the king of wands here this person definitely is very passionate about you and they would definitely want to take action towards you or they would want you to take action towards them okay but yeah one person here needs to take the lead and the other person feels that they should be doing that someone needs to take action here nine of pentacles so yeah looks like they feel that you're absolutely okay on your own with the nine of pentacles you're absolutely you know like uh, you don't need a relationship this is the single lady card right the single independent lady card someone who's good on her own financially abundant living the best of her life living the best of luxury she's chilling in her garden having fun she doesn't need anyone she's not codependent she's very independent she's absolutely single and she's okay even if she's not in a relationship because she is complete and she's i am whole i am complete is what she says okay so yeah she's nice she's she, she likes to chill with her friends she likes to enjoy the best of her life she likes to get the uh, center of the attention but at the same time she's just someone who likes to get that she has a very high standard when it comes to her choosing her partners okay so that's how this person feels this person feels that you have a very high standard when it comes to your partners and you're not going to take any bullshit okay and that's why after you close this cycle here this is someone who definitely wants to move forward towards you okay they want to start a new chapter with you and that's the kind of person that you're dealing with someone who's not wanting to be vulnerable and probably it could also be with the five of wands in reverse here that you're fed up and tired of their mind games or their games okay every single time you're in their life you have to keep fighting for that position in their life you don't know where you stand or you're just like too much chaos and too much drama okay and you're like you know what screw this i cannot do this but at the same time you're still stuck with them yeah because see you want to offer them something okay you want this offer from them you want an apology from them but you want something stable because you're just not being able to move forward okay you could have tried but you can't you can't you're probably wanting to even return to this person or you want this person to return to you see eight of pentacles now that you've left this person right now this person definitely wants to work on this okay with eight of pentacles they want to put in the work they want to put in the effort they want to work hard towards this relationship this is someone who's obsessively trying to master the art okay trying to get their best and trying to give their best okay and they want to give their best with this relationship in order to move this to the next level okay but yeah they they see you shining they see you shining okay they know they, they you know they literally know that you've done all the work here because they are in the eight and you're in the nine here so they see that you've already done your work here in the relationship and now you're at a very satisfied place all right where you don't really need anyone or uh, you're very very uh like i said right you're okay on your own okay very self-sufficient but they know that they need to put in that effort in order for them to reach that ten of pentacles with you okay to make that perfect pair with you and they know that with the justice in reverse here, there are chances that things uh, that they didn't, uh, things were not fair with you, you know, but they would want to rectify the situation, okay? They do know that things were not fair and they do know that they, uh, they, they could probably even think that they don't deserve you, you know? But yeah, they do know that they did the wrong thing to you and probably they want to come in and make up for it by working hard and working towards it. Give me one more card for this person's feelings for Scorpio ace of swords like i i mean i really like this they want a breakthrough okay they want to communicate and they want to tell you each and everything <coughs> that they want okay ace of swords is not what you want to hear ace of swords is clarity it's clear communication could be the harsh truth okay but this is someone who finally wants to come in cut through the bullshit they want to break the ice and they want to talk to you and tell you what the truth is and they want to open up they want to reveal the truth okay again the truth is not always what you want to hear but the truth is something that you didn't know okay and something that you probably were living in illusion some kind of belief but they're coming in okay to cut through the bullshit and talk to you very openly about it this is having an open dialogue but also someone who's wanting to treat the situation with a lot of logic here and with the queen of swords in reverse here this is how they view you i feel they feel that you're really really pissed off you're in no boot to talk to them and you're very bitter very vengeful and you will definitely cut them off at the first sight so yeah they are very scared they do see you in good light and they feel like you don't need them anymore for sure what is the mutual energy between scorpio and the person they're dealing with what is the mutual energy 
king of cups in reverse here there is a huge need for someone to open up emotionally okay you're both emotionally shut off this is the mutual energy which means you both have trust issues maybe this person has trust issues because of whatever they went in the past in their other relationships and they're carrying that excess baggage out here you have trust issues because you gave in your 100% to this person and this person didn't budge they didn't come in correct towards you and now you're also shut off okay so you're both lacking that head and heart balance you know give me one more card for the mutual energy but there is a need to trust each other okay give me one more card for the mutual energy say ace of cups in reverse here that's exactly what my point there's a lot of sadness a lot of depression around this situation okay none of you or both of you are not ready to open up or talk about this and which is a very very important thing to do if you are not going to open up and not going to talk about it this is just not going to move forward all right so maybe one of you or both of you right i'm getting more like you probably saw a lot of potential once in this relationship but now you've been pretty disheartened because things didn't work out the way you wanted it to so yeah that's a lot of sadness and depression okay you both need to love yourself first right now you're both shut off and you're both being either very harsh towards each other or very harsh towards your own self okay you both need to love yourself first and that's why there's this imbalance here okay let's see what is the best potential outcome what is the best potential outcome for this uh spread here what is the best potential outcome for this spread here for scorpio what can we expect to happen what is the best potential outcome that we can expect here for scorpio what is the best potential outcome that we can expect for scorpio for this spread the tower in reverse here so yeah you guys can avoid a disaster okay you guys can do that this is the best potential right so yeah you don't you guys don't have to have a very drastic approach you do guys don't have to blow the lid all right you don't have to go through that entire painful uh, transformation or painful um, breakup separation you know like there doesn't have to be this sudden harsh uh, shake up in your relationship okay you can still avoid it if you know you can still dodge the bullet is what i'd say but again you both will have to learn your lessons and till you don't learn your lessons you guys are all, this relationship is always going to be threatened by the tower because the tower comes in when there is anything that is uh, not concrete right when something that has a rocky foundation king of swords see the potential is there for communication okay with the king of swords here like i said with the ace of swords here i feel this person there are more chances that this person is wanting uh, to um, communicate towards you okay so i feel that they will communicate towards you for sure okay i do see chances of them communicating towards you but the potential is there all right they probably even want to avoid a disaster and they will come in with clear communication yeah because the hard work and they want to put in the effort in this relationship okay so there are chances that they are definitely in their senses and after you shut them off right they're probably um i mean they want to take this to the next level okay after you've ended things with them so yeah the potential looks very very good doesn't look like you guys need to take a very drastic approach there are chances that you can have it uh, you know have a more subtle a more softer approach to things things don't really have to go like completely you know like like an earthquake in your relationship but yeah with king of swords your communication is key okay one of you but at least this person looks like they will come and communicate okay if they do there are chances that things would does do not crumble and you guys can be back together again okay so that's what i have for you scorpio i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye next time bye bye